This video is primarily directed towards the straight cis men out there. The meat and dairy industry takes advantage of one of men's greatest weaknesses, their ego. They literally have the majority of men by the balls because most men are insecure with themselves, with their feminine aspect, because they think it makes them weak. They're afraid to address their emotions, which often stunts their emotional maturity. It's probably why most women go for older men because most mature women want a mature man, and men are notorious for developing emotional intelligence much later in life, if ever. Older men at least have more experience to draw upon, therefore more time to think about their life, address their traumas and feelings, and develop proper communication skills that are valuable in a relationship. But to be fair, it's what men have been taught all their lives, that emotions are weak, being feminine is gay, and gay is bad because it's not manly. But all these insecure fears don't do anyone any favors. Insecure men hate it when women make more money than they do, or are more successful than they are, or take any position of authority. This is the true weakness men should avoid. The idea that men are somehow the superior gender. Yes, biologically men and women have obvious anatomical differences, but that doesn't mean that women can't be muscular construction workers and do all the same things and fulfill all the same roles that men do. Having a dick between your legs doesn't mean that you're capable. It doesn't mean that you're smart or a good leader. It doesn't make you automatically deserving of respect or a raise. Similarly, women brought up in our misogynistic society are also brainwashed to believe that they are lesser than men, and that's not true. Men and women are equal. All genders are equal. We all have the same intrinsic value. But we grew up in a society which brainwashed us to believe that the male body is somehow superior. The truth is, is that we are all born with unique bodies, with their own strengths and weaknesses. And some are more suitable for certain abilities than others, but that doesn't mean that we can't branch out and do something that challenges our physiology. Women are known for maturing faster than men emotionally, and men are more known for being stronger physically. But both of those rules can be reversed. We need to unprogram ourselves from this misogynistic thinking which supports the kind of insecurity that sets men back in their emotional development. It leads to them thinking that having muscles equates to being a responsible and mature partner. But the value comes from within your own character, your level of emotional intelligence, honesty, transparency, communication skills, etc. Again, this is likely why so many men go for younger women because younger women have less life experience, are more vulnerable, and are less mature than they are. For now. Likewise, women tend to go for older men in order to find someone who has the emotional maturity that even remotely matches theirs. Because a 19 year old girl seemingly has more emotional maturity than a 30 year old man. Break, I forgot to put this in. So this is why men who are more emotionally mature than their peers and more comfortable with their feminine aspect are so much in demand. Their emotional maturity is valuable, primarily because mature women want a man that can properly communicate their feelings and emotions, and who is receptive to their partner's feelings and emotions. Someone who will empower them, who will treat them as an equal. Our misogynistic society has created a lot of kinks for women in the bedroom who may have daddy issues because men are notorious for not taking accountability. Because of this, women may want bedroom roleplay that expresses that unequal dynamic as a form of releasing trauma from the conflicting and unbalanced male to female energy courtesy of our sexist society. This confuses emotionally immature men even further and thus makes them feel justified to continue thinking that they have the right to belittle women as a form of suppressing their feminine aspect. Did you catch that? They're suppressing women and also suppressing their feminine aspect. But in actuality, women want to be treated with respect. They want to feel safe with the person that they're dating and not as some fragile little thing that needs to be constantly protected from the big bad world, but as a woman that can be empowered to be her independent and authentic self. Men have really terrible role models, and we can blame society for this all we want, but once you hit adulthood, it's your responsibility to clean up the mess, because nobody else is going to do it for you. We all have the responsibility to do our own shadow work, address our own traumas, work on our communication skills, learn to express our emotions in a healthy way, learn how to address other people's emotions in a healthy and supportive way, to be a valuable friend, partner, lover, etc. So I want to circle all this back to the original idea that I had that you probably didn't catch because it wasn't super obvious. That being that most straight men are afraid to go vegan due to their insecurities. 
Most men in our society don't have what it takes to go vegan. They don't have the emotional maturity. They don't have the confidence to go against the grain, to stand up to the harassment and bullying from the cis, macho, male community. They don't have the ambition or the drive to do it. It takes effort, and most men think that everything should be handed to them. They think that they are entitled to success. Thus, they don't want to leave their fantasy land, where they live in this blissful ignorance, believing that they are this big, strong, manly man respected by all the other strong, manly mans. <laughs> I think that most men are too ignorant to go vegan because they think they already know everything. They think they're already perfect. Everyone has to work at being a better version of themselves, and especially since we live in this misogynistic society where men are put on this pedestal like they're something else. But then they end up super stunted in a really important aspect of their character. It means that they have to work harder at being more emotionally mature and accepting their feminine aspect. Vegan men are sexy! Because in a world of insecure, emotionally immature men that reject anything that challenges them, the vegan man stands above the rest. They tell the world they don't care about what other men think of them, their expectations, their social rules. The vegan man exudes confidence in their own masculinity and femininity. I hope you guys know I'm generalizing. They, vegan men, are actively making the choice to better themselves by breaking from the herd mentality of animal exploitation and toxic social standards that create ignorance and disease in our society. Men who blatantly reject veganism show that they haven't made a lick of effort to learn anything about the harms of eating animal products or the benefits of eating a plant-based diet. They're proud of how ignorant they are because they have an echo chamber to back them up. All these men rejecting veganism are believing what they want to believe and looking up information that just supports their already biased opinion. These men are scared to learn the truth because it means they have to admit that they were wrong. And that hurts their ego. They're too scared to look in the mirror. They're too afraid to be vulnerable and let go of their fears of being rejected themselves because they've already been the giver of so much rejection. They're afraid, most understandably, to be rejected by their peers, their families, their loved ones. They're too afraid to put any effort into developing their emotional intelligence to make them a suitable partner for future relationships. They cling to what makes them feel comfortable instead of facing their fears, instead of facing the truth that they maybe possibly might have been wrong. To be honest, most people in general don't want to face the truth. They don't want to put effort into shit. They're lazy and they don't want to believe that they're doing anything wrong. So people just prolong that embarrassment as long as they possibly can. So here's some advice for the men out there who want to be a better version of themselves, to be a better partner, a better lover, a better leader. Get in touch with your feminine aspect. Be comfortable with sharing your emotions. We all have a balance of masculine and feminine. Be comfortable with both parts of you because if you aren't, then you're only half your best. It doesn't mean that you have to put on dresses. It doesn't mean that you have to take dick in the butt. It means that you have to be comfortable when expressing your authentic self. It means that you have to accept your emotions and express them in a healthy way. It means that you know how to talk about your emotions, know how to respectfully address others' emotions, and support your loved ones when they're vulnerable. Go to men's only tantra sessions, or start journaling your emotions. Watch videos of men who are teaching other men how to accept their feminine side, how to break away from the lies of misogyny. Look at what it means to be emotionally mature. It's not a kick in the balls to do the dishes and make delicious gourmet meals for your partner. It's not unmanly to make the bed, do your own laundry, wash your own ass. Equality matters in relationships. So some of you may be wondering, well, what does this have to do with veganism? So glad you asked. Since this video is primarily focused on misogyny and sexism, you should probably know that female animals are constantly objectified in the meat and dairy industry. And as a woman who respects the female anatomy and sees the history of female abuse by the male energy, I would never give my heart to somebody who supported such industries that devalue the female temple. So for all the men out there who need to hear this, good luck on your journey. You are going to be a catch when you master this shit. And you're gonna pass all the other guys out there that wanna wait until later to look in the mirror. You stand out from the rest. This is directed at the straight cis male community. I am coming from a position of being a straight woman that has had to deal with the macho manliness all my life. I have been belittled by men. I have watched men belittle each other over petty gender roles. And as a woman, I have had my fair share of men think that they know more than me on the grounds of absolutely nothing. As many other women know or will know in the future, most men suck 
and it's just a matter of time till the woman that you're with is going to realize that you have nothing of value to offer because you suck at communicating and addressing your emotions. No woman with self-respect is going to stay with someone who thinks that they're better than her. The lack of emotional maturity and narrow-mindedness to new or contradictory ideas just leads to disappointments and breakups. I have been vegan since I was 19, and it has been really hard to find vegan men because it takes a lot of confidence and maturity to be one. And just to be clear so there's no confusion, being a vegan man doesn't equate to being emotionally mature, or responsible, or even compatible. Vegan men can also be misogynistic, abusive, and ignorant. I'm sorry, but life isn't black and white. I'm hoping that people will find the connections and this won't fly over too many heads. I feel confident that there are a lot of people out there that know exactly what I'm talking about, and I thank you. Hopefully by talking about this more, we can open the eyes of the straight cis male community and some decent men can come out of it as a result. Or we can just be gay, let's just fuck each other, fuck men. Or we vegan women can just all be poly and then share all these hot vegan guys. I'm okay with that, I'll share it. <laughs> so I'm done with this. Thank you to all the vegan men out there. I see you and I thank you. Thank you for bettering yourselves, questioning the status quo, and willing to learn all the facts. You stand out from the rest. Thank you to all the healthy vegan men out there, smashing those stereotypes that vegan men are weak, that vegan men can't get wrecked. And thank you to all the non-vegan men, I'm looking at you, Thank you for staying to watch. I hope this inspires you to look into the science. Meat and dairy is unhealthy. It weakens your immune system. And if you want to live in the past, be prepared to be surpassed. Live long and prosper.